everybody. I'm going to be doing an updated version of my Ruby voice reel. I'm going to be doing the same characters that I voiced last time as well as other characters that I didn't do. So this one might be a little longer because there's a lot of characters in Ruby. So let's get started. When Beacon fell, I lost two of my friends, Penny Palandina and Pira Nikos. I didn't know them for very long, but that doesn't change the fact that they were two of the most kind-hearted people I have ever met. But that didn't save them. Pira thought that if there was even the smallest chance of helping someone, then it was a chance worth taking. And because of that, she died fighting in a battle she knew she couldn't win. And Penny was killed. Just to make a statement. You've got a team now, Jean. We both do. And if we fail then, we'll just be bringing them down with us. We have to put our teammates first and ourselves second. Your team deserves a great leader, Jean. And I think that could be you. You are so childish. And dim-witted and hyperactive and don't even get me started on your fighting style. And I suppose I could be a bit difficult, but if we're going to do this, we're going to have to do this together. So if you quit trying to show off, I'll be nicer. She will. Yang, you, Ruby, and even Blake or more like family to me than my brother, or even my own father. I would do anything for you three, and I'm willing to bet Blake feels the same way. So, when she's ready, I'll be there for her. And I know we're not as close, but I'm here for you too. We were being treated like equals, but not out of respect, out of fear. So, I left. I decided I no longer wanted to use my skills to aid in their violence. Instead, I would dedicate my life to becoming a huntress. So, here I am, a criminal hiding in plain view, all with the help of a little black bow. Humans didn't do this. We did this. Faunus. We did this to ourselves. We're just as capable of hate and violence as the humans. But I don't think any of us would jump at the chance to point that out. So why are we letting Adam do it for us? By doing nothing and staying silent, we let others speak and act in our place. And if we're not proud of the choices they make, then we have no one to blame but ourselves. Oh, shut up! You don't know the first thing about strength. You turn your back on people. You run away when things get too hard. You put others in harm's way instead of yourself. You might be powerful, but that doesn't make you strong. I'm a thrill seeker. I want to travel around the world and get wrapped up in as many crazy adventures as I can. And if I help people along the way, then that's even better. It's a win-win, you know? Don't be so nervous. The worst thing that could happen is we lose. Then it's just a few more years of walking around school with everyone knowing we're failures. Our friends will slowly abandon us to preserve their social status. We won't be able to show our faces in class. No one will sit with us in the cafeteria. And Ryan and I have no parents so we have no one left to go to. We'll officially be renamed Team Lucifer. <laughs> The longer this waiting game goes on, the harder each day gets for people down there. And now you want to send in more soldiers? You can't just force people to fall in line. If you do that, you'll just be trading all of these problems for the grim. Jean, everybody needs a little push from time to time. It doesn't make you any different from the rest of us. You made it to Beacon. That speaks volumes of what you're capable of. I've always felt as though I was destined to become a huntress, to protect the world. And it's become increasingly clear to me that my feelings were right, but I don't know if I can do it. 
Now you understand. I've got to get this relic before it can be secured in Atlas. It's the only way that Salem... It's the only way we can accomplish our goals. It's unfortunate you were promised a power that was never truly yours. But take comfort in knowing that I will use it in ways you would never have imagined. I see no reason for your cruelty towards young Cinder. She's become our fall maiden, destroyed Beacon Tower, and most importantly, killed dear Ozpin. So I'm curious, to what failures are you referring? You will have the power I promised you when the time is right. But remember that it comes with a cost. If Ruby Rose has learned to harness her gift, then you must take care to protect yours. There's only so much I can do to aid you. Most girls are born, but I was made. I'm the world's first synthetic person capable of generating an aura. I'm not real. Isn't it great? We're not going to just replace the Beacon Tower. Building a new tower on top of Amity Coliseum will reestablish global communications. I don't recall asking about your ranking. I'm asking how you've been. Are you eating properly? Have you taken up any hobbies? Are you making new friends? Whatever the case, I am glad to see you've moved on. Distancing myself from the Shni name is the most beneficial thing I've ever done. We can move forward without him, together. I feel so bad, honestly. If we had known who you were, we'd be laughing over a hot meal right now. A massive saber is loose in the mantle sewers. We need two brave warriors to finish it out. I've seen other speed semblances before, but that was different. I think there's more going on than you think. We get along well enough, sure. I count on them to keep me alive. They do the same. But that's the job. We don't confuse the two. Just enough to make it look like she's untouchable. She doesn't broadcast her powers, so it puts her opponents at a disadvantage. I don't care about Salem, but I owe Cinder everything. You want to fight her that bad? Be my guest. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard rumors about the assignment of teams. Well, allow us to put an end to your confusion. Each of you will be given teammates. Today. Professor Peach has asked all of you to collect samples from the trees deep inside the forest, and I'm here to make sure none of you die while doing it. I'm giving you a choice. Stay here with me, and I'll answer all of your questions and more. We can have a fresh start. Or you can go back to Crow and join Ozpin's impossible war against Salem and meet the same fate as many others. But can you really go back to trusting someone that's kept so much from you? I've stared death in the face over and over again, and every time I've spat in that face and survived because I'm strong enough to do what others won't. You just destroyed my favorite clothing store. Prepare to die. Well, I guess now is a better time than any. Velvet! Just make them count. Most people don't know what it's like on the battlefield. I mean, even experienced fighters can get scared and start seeing things. If it happened to Coco, it can happen to anybody. She swore she saw Yatsu in, with her in the forest during the fight with Emerald and Mercury, but he never made it out of the geyser field. Stress-induced hallucinations, apparently. I was hoping you'd play it straight with me. What is Ironwood doing in Amity at the old STC mines? I used to think you were hiding something to protect yourself, but I can tell there's something much bigger going on here. Now I think it's to protect something else. Us. Atlas. Maybe even all of Remnant. 
and you're afraid of what might happen if you tell the truth. I am sorry it had to be this way, but you and your family are holding the faunus back. I lost control. Every inch of me turned blue as I wept, and suddenly all the girls that I laughed and played with were scared of me. We were horrified when we heard the news. The Kingdom of Vale isn't perfect, but it certainly didn't deserve what happened. Oh, we were both so worried. You've never been very talkative, but that boy you brought home loves to run his mouth. I want to hear more about the adventures of Team Ruby. No buts! I understand that you're upset. Honestly, I'm still coming to terms with the fact that this is humanity's second time around. But if we don't move, we die. And I'd be damned if I had lived this long just to die out here in the cold. Missy, I was the Grim Reaper. What part of Bess Huntress of her generation don't you understand? Straight to the point. I like it. We don't normally deal with trafficking people. Not really worth our time, but once we realized we had a schnee, that changed. I'm not concerned in any of this. All I care about is my tribe, my family. This is a burden, not an honor. Adam, I'm not going to repeat myself. So I want you to listen when I tell you that the White Fang will not attack Haven Academy. I'm starting to doubt either of you fully comprehend what it is I want. I want humanity to fear the Faunus, to know that we demand respect. I do not want to start a war with the humans that we cannot win. Yep, move the second I could. Jean and I are the only two living away from home. I guess he just wanted to be like his big sis. You could stay in Mistral, get your licenses at Haven, and come back to Argus. There's a lot of good you can do here. I know your mission is important, but it's not like you're the only ones who can do it. It's not the only mission that needs doing. You all risk so much to keep people like us safe. It's the least we can do. Especially for such an elite huntsman like yourself. Although, I will say I was surprised to learn you had students helping you. Is that even... legal? Okay, remember. 1. The radar box is separate from the rest of the communications equipment. So if you disconnect it properly, it won't take our comms for the rest of the city. Two, this conversation never happened. I am Jin, a being created by the God of Light to aid humanity in its pursuit of knowledge. I've been graced with the ability to answer three questions every 100 years. You're in luck, as I am still able to answer two questions this era. I know. And while you don't seek knowledge, just this once, I shall give it freely. I will not allow you to use me without a question again, even if this was clever. Wow! That was amazing! You guys have really improved since the Vital Tournament, and that cute boy has a few surprises for us, too. We lost? Team Funky lost? That... That was amazing! Oh my gosh, you guys are super crazy awesome. We should definitely party together sometime. Right, Flint? And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for listening. Let me know which characters you think I sounded best as in the comments below. For my next reels, I'm planning on doing some Disney reels, including Disney princesses and Disney fairies. So if you're excited about that, let me know. Thank you guys so much for listening and stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.